Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, on behalf of the Parish of St Spirit, and it's my privilege tonight to welcome you here to this uh, magnificent venue for this dinner to celebrate the opening of the wonderful Sports and Performing Arts Centre here at St Spirit and College. Uh, this is a dream many of us have had for a long time, and it's at last a reality. And it's truly a multi-purpose facility, as you'll hear during the course of the night. So enjoy the night. This is a night of celebration. This is a night for the, the inner family of St Spiridon to reflect on all the hard work that's gone on, but also to look forward to great times here at St Spiridon College. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you all the official party tonight. Please give them a warm welcome. Please remain seated. Firstly, as always, our parish priest, the very Reverend Father Stephen Scutis, who is escorting a special guest tonight who we didn't expect, but at the last minute he's made a, a special appearance for us uh, in his very busy timetable, the Honourable Peter Garrett, MP, Member for Kingsford Smith and Minister for School Education, Early Childhood and Youth, and also the Honourable Senator Matt Thistlethwaite. Please make them welcome. Our second group is Father Sotiris Drapaniotis and Presbytera, together with our parish president, Ilia Ikonomu, and his fiancée, Dimi Liveris. Please make them welcome. And representing our Premier, the Honourable Barry O'Farrell, we're delighted to have with us the Honourable Marie Fakara, MLC Parliamentary Secretary to the Premier, together with her husband, Dr Alan Carlos. No event at St Spiridon is complete without representation of the Greek government. And of course, tonight we have with us our dear friend, the Consul General for Greece, Mr. Vasilios Tolios and Mrs. Dora Tolios. And finally, the local member, the member for Marubra, a dear friend to us all, the Honourable Michael Daly and Christina Daly. There are many people to acknowledge in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, the Chairman of St. Spirit and College Board of Governors, Mr. James Phillips and Mrs. Phillips join us tonight. Save your applause till the end. The Head of College, Mrs. Efrasini Stefanu Haag and Mr. Haag. The principal of St. Spirit and College Junior School, Mrs. Mary Hamer. The principal of St. Spirit and College Senior School, Mrs. Gatsoyanis and Mr. Gatsoyanis. Make them all welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen. We also have a number of other distinguished guests tonight, which I think indicates the importance of tonight's event. Um, from the city of Randwick, we're delighted to have with us the recently elected Mayor, Councillor Scott Nash, and Councillor John Prokopiadis and Mrs. Prokopiadis. As uh, with all events across our archdiocese, uh, there's great support and we're delighted to welcome tonight the head of our sister school, All Saints Grammar in Belmore, Mr. Anthony Tutsa and his wife, Mrs. Tutsa. And finally, um, it's wonderful to have with us tonight at an event such as this, the president of AHEPA New South Wales, Mr. John Theodoridis and Mrs. Theodoridis. That's a pretty impressive array of distinguished guests, I'm sure you'll agree. This evening's event has also been generously supported by some organisations, and I'd like to acknowledge them now. Uh, Beirut Hellenic Bank, and we acknowledge the presence of uh, the team from Beirut Hellenic, Hellenic Bank, particularly James Wakem, Sotiris Khatikiriakou, and their team of, of uh, workers. And we also acknowledge from Bank of Cyprus Australia, Mr. Gon Pavlou and his team. So please make them welcome. They're always good supporters of St Spiridon. I'd now ask everyone to be upstanding as I invite Father Stephen to the microphone to lead us in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, bless the food and drink of your servants, for you are holy now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bon appetit. I hope that uh, those that were the lucky recipients of uh, blue tickets have collected their, their prized bottle of wine, and uh, please enjoy it on behalf of uh, Beirut Hellenic Bank. Well, we've said tonight that... Uh, this is a milestone in the history of St Spiridon College and indeed St Spiridon Parish. 
A sports and performing arts hall is a fundamental feature of any modern college. And this has been a long dream here at St Spiridon. But not, we don't only have a, a functional venue, we have one of the best venues, one of the best halls along the eastern seaboard. And we're very proud of that here. And uh, credit must be given not only to the hard working committee, but to the representatives of government that made this possible. So to hear more about that and uh, to acknowledge those to whom acknowledgement should be given, please welcome the President of St Spirit and Parish, Mr Elia Ikonomo. Father Stephen, Father Sotiri, distinguished guests all, members of the St Spirit on family. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the St Spirit on Parish Gala Dinner. Our parish and community is blessed to have so many contributors to its missions and daily life. And tonight we come together as what we affectionately call the St. Spirit on Family to celebrate our unity, harmony, and indeed all of our achievements. The Greek Orthodox Parish and community of St. Spirit on has, since its inception in 1958, been vibrantly committed to the missions of our church. Whether it be through church participation, through the ladies' auxiliary, the countless subcommittees and volunteers, or the major mission of our parish, St. Spiridon College, we always strive to excel and exceed all our expectations. Through many years of hard work and with the guidance of His Eminence, Archbishop Stylianos, our parish continues to serve the needs of the people of God with dedication. I take this opportunity to thank everyone who contributes to this success. It is a testament to our ethos and values as a community that tonight there is a representation of all facets of the St. Spiridon family. Volunteers, dedicated professionals, current, past and future parents of the college and indeed past students of our college. Tonight for the first time we're using our Sports and Performing Arts Centre as a function room. This facility has indeed proved to be a versatile and integral part of the college's infrastructure, for which we are very proud. Our next major goal and project and challenge will be the redevelopment of the infants campus for kindergarten to year two at Kingsford to provide a new comprehensive campus for our children's formative years. With the combined assistance of all of our St. Spiridon family, and community, I am confident that we can make a reality, that a reality as soon as possible. Tonight I have the pleasure of acknowledging a few people, so um, I'd like to ask Father Stephen if you could come up, please. While tonight is primarily a celebration, I have the honour of acknowledging some major contributors. The late Professor Manuel Aroni served on the Board of Governors of the College from 1983 as a Foundation member. In February of this year, he passed away, having served our parish and college continuously for over 28 years. His insight into education, his dedication to Hellenic values and his contribution to the Board of Governors of our College was at the least dynamic. Inspirationally, Professor Aroni further showed his commitment by bequeathing $60,000 from his estate to the college. Tonight we acknowledge this magnanimous contribution. I ask Professor Aroni's son and daughter-in-law, Stephen and Sophie Aroni, to come forward and receive a plaque of recognition. And I think that deserves a huge round of applause. Stephen and Sophie's children are also students of St. Spiridon College, which I think Professor Arani was very proud of. In February 2008, the Golden Jubilee Gala Dinner of our parish, the late Mrs. Marina Pappas pledged a donation of $50,000 to the college's building fund in memory of her husband, the late George Pappas, founding secretary of the parish. Following her sudden passing in 2009, her son, Nicholas Pappas, honoured this pledge through her estate. I therefore ask Nicholas and Eleni Pappas to come forward and receive their plaque of recognition. Tonight we have also been pleasantly surprised 
with a donation from a HEPA New South Wales to our college building fund of $30,000. Yep. <laughs> with a commitment of further ongoing support towards our scholarship and bursary program. I'm delighted to acknowledge AHEPA and invite the State President of AHEPA, Mr. John Theodorides, to come forward and make their presentation. I think it's appropriate that as HEPA is a, a major organisation that John says a few words. <clears throat> Reverend Fathers, um, Your Excellency, uh, the uh, Consul General for Greece, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say that uh, technically speaking, I'm also a member of the uh, St. Spiridon family. My daughter and my son-in-law uh, were actually students here having uh, graduated about 11 years ago. It's a delight uh, for us, uh, as AHEPA is dedicated to education, and uh, every time there's a thearesto ergo within the Greek community that uh, AHEPA is there to support. It was a delight to support All Saints uh, about 18 months ago with a similar donation. And it was a delight when we found out that this magnificent building was going up to once again be part of that. So we thank you for allowing us to be a part of this great work. Uh, congratulations to uh, the designers and congratulations to the parish for having established, as uh, Nicholas Pepper said earlier on, uh, probably one of the best facilities of this type on the Eastern Seaboard. Congratulations to everyone involved. Annually, our parents and friends uh, association of the college work on a voluntary basis to assist in raising funds to contribute to the ongoing investment in infrastructure of our college. This year, the PNF have been very, very busy and have once again excelled. And we're pleased to announce that this year's contribution is $50,000. A truly fantastic result. If I could invite the president of our PNF, Anna Stamoulos, together with all of the PNF who are present here tonight, and uh, uh, half a dozen of them have been actively involved in preparing for tonight as well, to come forward uh, just for a commemorative photo, please. Absolutely. All young, busy professionals with young families. In conclusion, I extend our thanks to everyone who has helped to make tonight a success. Our volunteers, our donors, and the staff who have worked above and beyond the call of duty. Thank you for your patience. Enjoy the evening. Galidia Skadasim. Well, thank you, Ilya. Thank you to all those who participated. Um, of course, uh, private effort only goes so far, but without the, the vision of government, uh, nothing can happen. And if it wasn't for the building education revolution, we wouldn't be sitting in this wonderful venue tonight. So to say a few words uh, on behalf of the federal government, um, he spoke here, as you might recall, at the opening back in June and was warmly received at that time. I ask you to give him an equally warm welcome, Senator the Honourable Matt Thistlethwaite who will say a few words to be followed by the Honourable Minister. Father Stephen Scutus, my parliamentary colleague, the Minister for Education, Peter Garrett, Member for Maroubra, Michael Daly, Marie Fakara, the Consul General, Tolios, uh, Ilya, the President of the School, Efrasini, Stefanu Haag, Mary Hamer, Mayor Scott Nash, Councillor John Prokopiadis, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know you've made it 
when you've been introduced to speak by the president of the mighty South Sydney Rabbitohs. It's almost, almost as great a privilege of the joy that I had when I received a phone call from Efrasini, uh, and she asked me to say a few words this evening. Friends, it's a real privilege to join you all this evening for the celebration of a dream come true for this school and this community. A celebration of the plan, the administration and the construction of what is a wonderful new facility, a first class educational facility for this school and our community. And it's a real joy for me to be asked to say a few words here this evening. I have had the great joy and the real privilege for the last four and a bit months of being a representative of the people of New South Wales in the Federal Parliament. And over that time, I've done close to 35 building the Education Revolution school openings in places as far away as Cobar, um, as far north as Coffs Harbour, and down around Narandra throughout New South Wales. But the first BER ever opening that I ever did, and the first public engagement that I had as a senator, was the great privilege of opening this wonderful new facility. So this school, the school community, and this facility will always have a special significance for me and my career, and really a special place in my heart. So I thank you for the opportunity to be amongst you this evening and to say a few words. I grew up in the local area. I've lived here all of my life. I went to school at Morris Brothers Pagewood. And I have really fond memories as a child playing around this local area, riding my bike, uh, playing hide and seek in what was then quite dense bushland and a great fantastic little pond on the land that we're standing on and sitting in this evening. And who would have thought, who would have thought back then as a young kid that I'd be standing here today in this wonderful new facility and being part of this very significant celebration. Being a member of the local community, I've seen this school grow and I've taken great joy in seeing the school grow and prosper. From humble beginnings as a relatively small high school to a first rate educational facilities, now producing stars of the HSC, sporting champions, great artists, a wonderful intake of international students. Being such a great member and institution in our local community. It's often said that you can value and judge a society by how well it treats its poor. But I also believe that we can judge and value a society by the education that we give our kids. And when you walk into a school like this and a facility like this, I think you'd all agree with me that we've got it right here in Australia. We've got it right. And in that respect, the federal government is very, very proud to have been part of the construction of this wonderful facility. And I'd like to thank and recognise the contribution of the Minister, Peter Garrett, who was a member of the Cabinet that made the decision to introduce the Building the Education Revolution program into schools throughout our nation. 9,000 schools throughout Australia have benefited from facil facilities, admittedly not, not as grand and as good as this, but from facilities that provide our kids with the best opportunity for an education. And I don't believe that we, as a generation of decision makers, can make any more important decision or greater legacy for our nation. 
So Peter, on behalf of this community, can I thank you for your contribution to that decision. <laughs> Friends, thank you once again for the opportunity to join you all. Can I, in closing, congratulate the administration of the school, the board, the principals, the teachers and staff, the students, the parents, and of course, the wonderful benefactors. Without your contribution to the school, to this community, these facilities would not have been possible. And they stand as a testament to community. They are really what community is all about. The school community working with the government, working with local businesses, working with the church, to provide these wonderful facilities for our children. So I congratulate all concerned with the administration of the school for the wonderful job that you have done in the administration of this project. And now in conclusion, it's uh, my great honour on behalf of the federal government to ask uh, Efrasini and Father Stephen to come to the front as I present on behalf of the federal government a new flag for the school, our nation's flag. May it fly for many, many years as a symbol of, as a symbol of the partnership between this community, this school, the government, the businesses and the church that made this wonderful facility possible. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank the Senator for those very moving words. And if there is a, a pivotal moment in the official opening of this, uh, this hall, it's surely the moment when the representative of the federal government hands over the nation's flag. Of course, uh, a message from the federal government wouldn't be complete uh, without a message from our local member here, our local federal member for Kingsford Smith, the Honourable Peter Garrett. He's no stranger to the stage. He's definitely no stranger to this community. Please make him welcome. Uh, thanks very much, Nick, and to my parliamentary colleague, uh, Senator Matt Thistlethwaite, how good it is to have uh, someone representing the state of New South Wales, but who is actually here in this electorate, to my parliamentary colleague in the state parliament, uh, Michael Daly. Great to see you uh, and Christina here tonight. Uh, Consul General, uh, Father Stephen, members of the St Spiridon school community and also the parish community. I didn't think I was going to be able to, to, to come down tonight, but I really wanted to come in and say to you that, uh, as Matt Thistlethwaite has said, not only are we absolutely convicted by the decision that we took to invest some $16 billion in building the education revolution, which enabled schools right around Australia to be able to have facilities, whether they were halls, science laboratories, classrooms, covered outdoor learning areas and the like that they never ever would have dreamed of nor been able to afford. Not only do we have that absolute conviction, but we get a tremendous sense uh, of pride when we're able to come in uh, and celebrate the opening of this fantastic facility as Matt did with you and then come in and celebrate it again tonight. Um, look, one thing I can say, friends, is that I recognise um, very much that there is some bold, generous and strong commitments from your community. I think our um, commitment here was around about the $2 million figure, maybe a little bit more, maybe uh, just a touch more. Uh, but you've gone on and not only have you provided significant investment for the funds that you had, but you've also experienced uh, what I think is an extraordinary uh, commitment uh, by actually borrowing up to provide a facility of this scale and of this um, absolute excellent finish. It's really important that we recognise that for students and teachers, what happens in the classroom, what happens in the facilities every single day is the most important thing that's going to happen to a kid when they learn. And to provide these good facilities has made a huge difference to teaching staff and a huge difference to the educational outcomes for young Australians. And there's one thing that lies at the very centre of our commitment and our values, and that is to make sure that kids in Australia, no matter where they live, no matter how much money their parents earn, 
get the best possible education that they can. And we are not focusing on systems, we're focusing on students. And we're focusing on the need that students have. With significant investments, not only building the education revolution, but some very significant investments to teacher quality, to low SES schools, uh, to literacy and numeracy in particular. And I'm absolutely sure, as the Minister for School Education, that that's the best kind of investment that a country can make. Just as I'm absolutely sure, as the Education Minister, that the investment that the St Spiridon's community has put in to this facility is the best investment that you could have made. So it's a tremendous pleasure to be here tonight with all of you, and congratulations again. Um, there will be much culture uh, and much artistic expression, uh, as well as sport, happening in this particular facility. I couldn't think of anything better, and I look forward to experiencing it in the future. Thanks very much. It's no exaggeration that the Minister took us completely by surprise tonight. Uh, he wasn't on the list of uh, dignitaries, uh, he wasn't meant to speak, uh, he was busy with other engagements, but he has really made a special effort to be here tonight, so please thank him again. <laughs> We're now going to leave you to enjoy the main meal and then we'll be back with some concluding remarks. Thank you. That decision by the Labor, state Labor government was warmly embraced, I'm glad to say, by the O'Farrell Liberal government. So it's uh, with considerable pleasure that I call to the microphone to say a few words on behalf of the Premier, the Honourable Marie Fakara. Please make a welcome. Shorter. Galispera, uh, sus. Galispera, sus, everyone tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nicholas. I only know a couple of phrases. My husband actually knows a lot more uh, Greek. He's been trying to teach everyone at the table about Greek cuisine and Greek heritage, Greek culture. And uh, certainly it's wonderful to be here uh, with you tonight at uh, St Spiridon. Um, to Father Stephen, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity of being here and Reverend, all Reverend Fathers. To Mr Elia Economou, the parish president, to all of my parliamentary colleagues, it's wonderful to see a bipartisan approach to education. And that is important, Labor, Liberal, whatever. We must never uh, politicise education. Education is the most important asset that we can give to our children. So it's, it's wonderful tonight that we see this represented. And I think it's great for communities such as yours to see that that is the case, uh, whether it be uh, New South Wales or the entire nation of Australia, that uh, everywhere our politicians must do whatever they can for uh, education. Uh, and certainly this hall is just a wonderful testimony to the community. I praise your uh, parents and uh, friends association. Wonderful, they were here tonight. The great fundraising that you have done. All of the members of the community that were recognised tonight for their contribution. Uh, the Order of a Hepa, my good friend uh, John. It's great to see you here, the Order of a Hepa. I've, uh, in my local government career, I was Mayor of Hurstville City Council and uh, a councillor for 16 years there. Um, it was wonderful. Every citizenship ceremony that we had, the Order of the Hepa was represented. And uh, I really pay tribute uh, to you for being here. Certainly, it's a great uh, honour for me to represent our Premier, uh, Barry O'Farrell, as his parliamentary uh, secretary. And um, I've got to say that I actually love coming to Greek functions. My background is uh, Sicilian Australian from the Aeolian Islands, Isle Aeolie. And uh, it was interesting tonight to hear that Senator Matt Thistlewaite is actually married to another Aeolian Islander from Selena. So let me say that we have so much Greek culture back in our islands. 
So those of you, I know that you might have cruised the Greek islands, and I have too, they're beautiful. Take some time and go to the Aeolian Islands, and the museum on the island of Lippery has some of the most incredible Greek artefacts, and I acknowledge the Consul General, Your Excellency. Uh, we're very proud in the Aeolian Islands. When um, I hear the language being spoken in Sicily, uh, there are so many Greek uh, terms and phrases and, 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 and the pronunciation. And I love listening to Greek because I can actually hear some of my uh, parents and grandparents' dialect come out. So they were very proud of their uh, Greek heritage because uh, the Greeks instilled a law and order. They taught mathematics and astronomy, the sciences. So now as you travel around Sicily and in the Aeolian Islands, there's a lot of love uh, for the Greeks, and we have a saying, una faccia, una razza. For those of you who understand, there's so much intermingling of the genetic pool there, and I think that we're a lot better for it. But uh, coming back to, to education, uh, the reason that my parents and my three brothers left the island of Lipari and came to Australia was mainly for the education of, of uh, well, I was born here, of, of their children and uh, future generations. And I know a lot of you share the same common heritage that uh, your grandparents and your parents made that supreme sacrifice of leaving Greece to come to this great country. And I think that apart from democracy, which is so strong here and so valued, that the other thing that we value very much is the education of our children. So I congratulate you for what you've done here, the teaching, of the Greek language and heritage uh, is uppermost and uh, it's something that often I say to my Italian friends that we've forgotten and I always compare it to what the Greek Australian community is doing. So I congratulate you and on behalf of uh, Barry O'Farrell too, uh, let me say that what you're doing here, the education of the mind and the body and the spirit are very important because that will lead to very happy individuals that will go on and have happy lives, hopefully, and happy families with the good values and a good education. And I congratulate you for doing that. Uh, so I promised I was going to be short and sweet so you can all get on to dancing, because I too, I'm Italian background, and they always say to me, Marie, keep it short, we've got to eat, we've got to drink, we've got to dance. So uh, with that, I'd just like to leave you with a message from uh, Premier Barry O'Farrell to St Spiridon community. I quote, I am delighted to send my best wishes to those attending the gala dinner to celebrate the completion of the new St Spiridon College Sports and Performing Arts Centre. St Spiridon's provides high level education to about 700 students from kindergarten to year 12. And with this new facility, we'll open up many more opportunities for St Spiridon in preparing students for their adult lives. The New South Wales government recognises that education is more than just studying. It is about learning how to be a productive citizen in the broader community and participating in a range of sporting and cultural activities. Your parish and college takes particular care to give your students a fully rounded education and we are excited to see this new educational centre dedicated to both sports and the performing arts, which will inspire the next generation to reach great heights in these fields. I congratulate the St Spiridon community for successfully completing this new major facility and wish you all the great success in the years ahead. Barry O'Farrell, Premier of New South Wales. And let me say that we will be there in the future to support your community in any way we can. Efferesto Parapoli. Well, thank you, Marie, for those very warm words and for that, delivering that, that uh, message from the Premier and also for bringing a little bit of the Aeolian Islands to, to our venue tonight. There's such great affinities between, between that part of the world and our places of origin, so thank you again. To close, ladies and gentlemen, and to give a vote of thanks to all our speakers and to all the organisers tonight, please make welcome Father Stephen. <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, 
Reverend Father Sotiri, Presbytera, the Honourable Matt Thistlethwaite, representing the Federal Government, the Honourable Marie Fukara, representing the State Government, other distinguished guests, the Honourable Vasilio Stolios, uh, Consul General for Greece, uh, sisters and brothers. The ancient Greeks actually said, Greeks are they who share in our education. And so here at St. Spiridon College, based on that ancient philosophy, we've developed an ecumenical outlook on life. And this is what we teach our students. Unfortunately, sometimes because people have uh, misunderstood what the term Greek Orthodox means, we are regarded as an ethnic minority, as, a, uh, as an ethnic school, whereas just a couple of hundred years ago, up to a couple of hundred years ago, Greek Orthodox meant Orthodox right across the world, and the Greek language was the ecumenical language as English is today. Suffice to remind everybody that uh, when the United States voted in their first Congress what will be their official language, Greek lost by one vote to English. So we are very, very proud of the uh, work that's being done in this school. We want to believe that we are Christ-centered, that we are church-centered, that we teach our children integrity above everything else, how to be um, contributors to the broader community. And I think that St. Spirit on Parish has set the example. We are a bridge between not just the Greek community to the broader Australian community, but we are a bridge for all other ethnicities that have come to this country and have adapted so exemplarily. I don't want to prolong uh, the speech, but I feel very, very proud to, um, to be a servant, uh, together with Father Sotiri, of this beautiful community. Um, we do owe a lot to our benefactors, but we also owe a lot to every single faithful member of the parish that comes and lights their candle at the church and makes their contribution uh, through that small but very significant way. We are indeed very much indebted to our benefactors and great benefactors and contributors to the, um, uh, to the funds of the school. Without the benefactors, we would not have been able to establish the school back in 1983. It's been a difficult path, but uh, an enjoyable path. Just to see this, this hall here come to fruition is uh, a dream come true, as has been stated by previous speakers here this evening. On my behalf and on behalf of Father Sotiri, on behalf of the parish president, um, Mr. Ilie Konomo, uh, the, uh, the parish council, the board of governors, we would like to congratulate the head of college, Mrs. Efrosini Stefano Haag, and all of her dedicated staff, both senior and junior, our principals, our executive staff, and all staff who make every child in this school feel loved, that make every child in this school feel important. And on a final note, I would like to say that as a priest, I am very, very proud of the fact that this school does not proselytize. This school, yes, has a Greek and Orthodox philosophy, but respects the 20 cultures that, uh, of, uh, of backgrounds that our children have, and uh, the three or four different religions that are represented in our school community. Thank you to you, the teachers, of our students. Thank you for your leader leadership and uh, we pray for our children at the altar table 
as we pray for you. As for our political representatives here this evening, this evening yes, I, I, I agree completely with uh, our most eloquent MC this evening, Nicholas Pappas. Um, without your contribution, buildings such as this would not have been able to have been built in such a quick time. Thank you for being with us here this evening. It's very humbling to be before you, to speak before you. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Father. That concludes, ladies and gentlemen, the formal part of the evening. Now's the time um, to dance and to enjoy the rest of the night and to mingle and to talk to people you haven't had a chance to speak with. Just a reminder about the raffle. Again, some wonderful prizes in the raffle um, that we're going to be giving out a little bit later in the night. And uh, please remember also to have your lucky door prizes handy. Okay, to kick off the music, um, please welcome a special Greek ensemble that's been gathered tonight, comprising some of the premier Greek performers from around Sydney. Uh, please make them welcome. Please take to the dance floor and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you. 